for more on this, let's welcome in Alaska Senator Dan Sullivan. Senator Sullivan is a member of both the Senate Armed Services Committee and the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee. Senator, welcome to the show. Uh, as we were discussing, Biden yesterday touted his budget for national defense and law enforcement. And as Sean mentioned, it only increasing by 4.5 percent, which is less than the rate of yep. inflation. Is that enough? No, it's not enough. Not at all, Lindsay. And Sean, good to be on the show again. But, you know, this is what he did with his last budget. He proposed cuts to our defense spending and cuts to Homeland Security. By the way, that was the only, those were the only two agencies that he cut. And it looks like he's doing it again. When you say 4% quote increase with almost 8% inflation, that is a real cut to the Department of Defense by almost 4%. And look, you both know it, we are in this new era of authoritarian aggression, led by the dictators uh, in China, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin. They're increasingly working together. They're taking aggressive actions against their democratic neighbors, whether in Taiwan or Ukraine. And what we need is a lethal, strong military. And the president, once again, put forward a budget to cut defense spending. By the way, as you know, when the Democrats are in power at the national level, this is what they do. Second term of the Obama administration, 25 percent cuts to the Department, Department of Defense. They're doing it again. I think it can't get overemphasized enough. If inflation is about at 8 percent, they're increasing four in Washington. That's called a cut. And Democrats would be, pro, you know, would be discussing that if this was a Republican budget as a cut in any other category. And I hope Republicans press that. But I want to turn North Korea for a second because they're ready to set off the first nuke in four years. Um, and it's been reported that they're now digging passages to the same site where North Korea conducted all six of its previous nuclear tests. This test apparently could come very soon uh, because Kim Jong-un's grandfather's 110th birthday is coming up and apparently he looks for anniversaries to do things. Um, they, they must be feeling, you know, empowered because of the situation in Ukraine. What should we be doing to prevent or trying to de-escalate this? Well, Sean, you know, after the debacle in Afghanistan where U.S. credibility on foreign policy from the Biden administration's perspective plummeted. The one thing I said is, look, we are going to be tested. We're going to be tested by other countries, and we need to be strong, and we need to be ready. And we're seeing that testing, whether it's Putin in Ukraine, whether it's Xi Jinping with Taiwan and the South China Sea. And as you just mentioned, it's clearly happening with the dictator in North Korea, uh, Kim Jong-un. And so what we need is a real deterrent factor. To me, as Alaska senator, I'm proud of this, but we need this for the whole country, and that's missile defense, a robust missile defense. As you know, almost all the radar, almost all the ground-based missile interceptors for America protecting the whole country are in the great state of Alaska. So we need a buildup. We did that under President Trump with the radars and more missiles to shoot down North Korean uh, missiles if they launch them. What we need to be able to say is if you do something like this, we will shoot that down. We have the technology, the radar, the missiles to do it, and then we, we, we will massively retaliate against your country. That's the deterrent effect we need. We haven't seen the details of the Biden defense budget, but I do know, for example, Sean, shrinking the Navy again, that's not a deterrent at all for Xi Jinping. But we'll see what they do on missile defense, but it's really important as it relates to North Korea. Senator, I don't have much time left, but do you want to ask you about this? Because Congressman Don Young passed away last yeah. week at the age of 88. He lied in state today. Um, as such a senior member of Congress, how is that going to affect Alaska voters? Only have about 30 seconds for you, sir. Well, look, Don Young was a great American, great Alaskan, longest serving Republican in the House in U.S. history. We honored him today, both members of the uh, House in terms of Republicans and Democrats, you know, it's going to be tough. We got a small but mighty delegation in Alaska, two senators, one House member. We're not going to have a House member for a number of months now as we hold a special election. So I've asked a number of uh, members of the House, hey, keep an eye out for Alaska issues, whether national defense, whether resource development. And I'm going to hold some of my colleagues on the other, uh, in the other House 
to that. But we lost a great American, a great Alaskan. It was a really fitting, beautiful ceremony when he lied in state today. Mm. Senator Sullivan, appreciate your time this evening. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Lindsay.